Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the West Lindsay series. This is one of the nine districts of Lincolnshire and one of the county's most rural. It has 128 civil parishes. Let's see which one this episode's all about. How do everybody? The sun is shining brightly and we're back in West Lindsay. Nikki's even got her sunglasses on. It's that bright out here. <laughs> You're not getting dazzled today, are you? Nope. No, okay. Right, okay, where do you find me today? You find me in a place that I've mentioned before, and that's because of the East Ferry episode. In that episode, there's a massive forest, most of the boundaries cover Lawton Forest, and today we're in the place that gives that forest its name. This is the parish of Lawton. West Lindsay series is sponsored by Gaines Recycles 01427 617 752. For all your cycling needs, this is your one stop shop. Located at 20 Ropery Road or online at gainsrecycles.com. There's a link in the description. Gaines Recycles, ask for Trevor Halstead. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Today we've come back to the east of West Lindsay and once again we're to the north of Gainsborough to begin a run of small villages between it and Scunthorpe. First up is Lawton. Now Lawton is a name you might recall from the East Ferry episode. Yep, this is the village which gives its name to that massive man-made forest we were in at the end of that video. Lawton, with its population of just over 400, is situated approximately six miles north of Gainsborough. It's a pretty village, which has much more than just the forest to speak about. There are two Lawtons in Lincolnshire, the other is close to Folkingham in South Castephen. To avoid confusion, this one can be referred to as Lawton by Blyton, but it's not very common to do so. Lawton means a place which can be locked, at least that's the definition for the South Castephen version, but I imagine the same would apply to the West Lindsay flavour as well. This Lawton is listed in the Doomsday Book as Lace Stone and Laston, having at that time 29 households. Pretty big in those days, it's not much bigger now in all honesty. The name Ingram appears a few times in this place. The family were local landowners, and the local pub, the Ingram Arms, is named after them. They also had a hand in the local education. This took us around 40 minutes to walk around what is a relatively easy, flat route. Here's what we found. Our route around the village begins on Morton Road, outside the Mainal Kindergarten. This is a nursery school which was established in 1983 and caters for children from birth to the age of five. Lawton is characterised by lots of old properties centred around a village green, with roads radiating from it to the other local villages. There's not much in the way of new development. There are also farms, and whilst Lawton may not have any shops, it does have some local produce on offer from them. There's quite a bit you can buy here, but we opted for some nice fresh eggs. At the end of Morton Road, the road joins Blyton Road at the small village green, which is where you'll find the parish notice boards. Two of them, no less. That's another one down in West Lindsay. 
So it hasn't taken us long to reach the centre of Lawton, which is defined by this lovely little village green, which has got a bus stop just there, and there's also um, a nice little sign there, a little finger post sign, which I'll catch in a moment. And also on this junction, you'll find this building here. That is the shooting lodge, according to uh, the name, which is above the door. If you're needing public transport to and from Lawton, you can use the number 100 bus. The Bus Times website also lists a number 61 service as well, which is less frequent. Both are run by Stagecoach. The Ingram Arms is described on its Facebook page as a traditional pub with a modern twist. The pub has a monthly music quiz and often hosts events like clay pigeon shooting. One for the flower lovers next, here outside the pub are some really pretty lilies. We were very taken with these, there were three clumps of them under the windows, very attractive. Around onto Church Road and the field you're looking at here beyond this gate appears to belong to Lawton's school. It's part of Blyton cum Lawton C of E Primary and the main building is in Blyton. Okay, next destination is the church, which you might recognise from an episode of the Parish Notice Board, which came out a few weeks ago. It's right there. All Saints Church is built of limestone and it's a Grade 1 listed building. In terms of a date, it depends on your source. Some say this originates from the 12th century, whilst others refer to the 14th. Regardless, it was restored in the late 1800s, which involved a rebuilding of the chancel. In the south aisle, there's a full-length monumental brass for William Dallison of Lawton, who was High Sheriff of Lincolnshire in 1546. Dr Roger Dallison founded a village school here in the reign of James I. A new schoolhouse, built in 1821, was funded by a member of the Ingrams, Isabella Ingram Seymour Conway, Marchioness of Hartford. It was then replaced again in 1841. The first schoolhouse still forms part of the modern-day school. Known originally as the Free Grammar School, it became Lawton Endowed Primary School. On top of the modern building is a weather vane, which according to this sign which hangs underneath it, is in memory of George Moss and it was made using funds from the children of the school. Okay, so now we're back at the green again. So we've walked around in a little circle around that little bit around the pub and the church and we've come back to this green once again. Let's have a look at this sign. I know there are finger post fans out there. So, Lawton is two miles from Blyton, six and a half from Gainsborough, eight from Curtin Lindsay, five from Scotton, five and a half from Scottor, and nine from Scunthorpe. Oh, and around the side we've got this as well. East Ferry is two and a half, Susworth is four, and Morton is six and a half. Really is the centre of the world, is Lawton, really is. Now let's have a look in the bus shelter. Whilst Lawton didn't appear to have an old red phone box, the locals have found somewhere for a book exchange. It's minimalistic, but it's good all the same. Our next landmark is the former Lawton Primitive Methodist Chapel. We'll get to that, but not before Nikki had tried out the bus shelter. You are right there, love, waiting for the number 100. The original 1826 chapel was used as a Sunday school until 1969, but it's now gone. A second chapel, the one that you see here, was built adjacent to the first in 1927, and a new Sunday school was added in 1975. Running alongside the chapel is a footpath, which passes a farm and takes us back to Morton Road, forming a nice neat little circle in the process. It's a warm day today, and we've just noticed uh, this cat in this farmyard, this jet black cat i can't imagine being a cat in this weather and being that color yeah you would bake surely yeah it's can't be comfortable for it but uh seems to be enjoying the sunshine though oh yeah cats do like the sunshine don't they we, we, we've seen that before we've seen it with our cat yeah <laughs> yeah trust me if, you, if you've uh, if never if you've never seen our cat angel um yeah, Angel likes to sit in the window and, and sunbathe. And but she's a white cat. So yeah, well, you can get away with that then. <laughs> There's a mouse? No, it's mousing. Oh, is it mousing? All right, okay. Well, I hope it catches it. <laughs> the footpath runs alongside a small cul-de-sac. For some reason, which I later forgot, Nikki asked me to film this. I honestly don't remember why, but it's nice all the same. 
To finish with, we turned onto West End Road. From here, you can access Lawton Forest. It has a high number of footpaths through it, which lead in all directions, and it's great for walking. If walking through the forest isn't your thing though, West End Road does have a small children's playground, so on a visit to the village, you can still keep the kids entertained. Okay, it's uh, time for today's picture bit, which is gonna be basically centered around the forest. You can walk through the forest in various different ways. There's loads of different footpaths. We drove through it in the East Ferry episode. There's not really much point driving through it again. I can't drive down any of the footpaths. What I can do is I can find a little collection of images um, that people have taken from their walks through Lawton Forest. So that's coming your way right now. Now, ordinarily, I don't voice over the picture bit, but here I felt a little recap was in order for Lawton Forest because East Ferry was such a long time ago. Plus, you might be new around here. Lawton Forest is a massive site that was primarily created to meet the demand to restock what was a depleted timber supply after the First World War. It was planted in the late 1920s. It's managed by the Forestry Commission today. As with all managed woodland, you have to keep to the footpaths. Because most of Lawton Forest is leased from the Mainal Estate, public access is restricted within it. However, Tuto's Wood is owned by the Forestry Commission, so the public are welcome to explore that area. Before the forest was planted, the area was mainly open heathland with ponds, small woodlands and shifting sand dunes. The forest still supports a wide range of these habitats, which include many locally and nationally rare plants, animals and birds, including the ever-elusive Nightjar. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the parish of Lawton, a very delightful, calm, mm -hmm. peaceful, quiet village here in West Lindsay. Where you can buy eggs. Where you can buy eggs, which have still got straw on them, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> look at that. You can't, you can't, can't get, get much fresher. I don't know whether the camera picked that up. Do that again, sweetheart. I don't know whether <laughs> you can get any fresher than that, quite frankly. If they've still got straw on the eggs, they must be, they must be fresh. The only Fre fresher is they would still be warm. Are they warm? No. Oh, okay. Well, it might be if you leave them in the sun for a bit, but then again, <laughs> then again, you're not going to want to eat them if you do that. No. So, uh, anyway, time for us to move on to the next one here in West Lindsay. This has been the parish of Lawton, and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and we're out.